Before we start, I want to kindly thank UK Rob M for buying us a cuppa since the last video. It's always appreciated. Now, a couple of years ago, I reviewed a film called Fateful Findings by Neil Breen, which was absolutely dreadful. The link is in the description. Now, after a couple of years, I've got over it, so now it's time to watch Twisted Pear. Is it any better, or is it worse? What's it about? Well, let's find out, because I don't think it's going to be very clear. The film starts with the beautiful opening titles. No wasting time here, thankfully. Jesus Christ, don't drag it out. My name is Cade. I have an identical twin brother, Kale. We were raised in a normal family, doing all the normal things in life. We were inseparable. He even manages to drag this bit out too. But then what happened to this twisted pair after they stopped pissing about on the beach with the dog? Then one day it all changed. Yeah, keep going. There was a bright light in the sky and time stood still. We were both selected. to sit through all that, so you did too. A force had taken us. We were separated from our family. As time went on, we were subjected to reprogramming of our DNA and cells, making us more humanoid with superior powers. The pace of AI intelligence is incredibly fast. It is growing at an exponential pace. Fuck it. Using their superhuman powers, they were sent on tasks. Only Kale, his twin brother, failed at everything, so it probably all went wrong. Let's meet them. I wonder how different they look now. How are we going to tell them apart for the rest of the film? Maybe one of them needs a really fake, shitty looking beard. AI will never replace the pure majesty of nature. Dragging every scene that should last 20 seconds into two minutes also doesn't replace a decent script. While developing further and further in a humanoid state over the years, I never wanted to lose touch with the magic and majesty of nature and the gifts it had given me. Once again, because I had to sit through a man pretending to interact with a bird on green screen, so did you. Fuck me. Anyway. Good morning. Have a nice day. No, I haven't muted it. It's genuinely like this. Yep, using his super AI skills, he transports himself into a warehouse set of fake looking explosions and some powerful words of encouragement. Follow me. They can't hurt me. You won't get hurt. Follow me. This is honestly better than Cyberdyne getting blown up in Terminator 2. Careful, Neil, how are you going to get away from there? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Only another hour and 20 minutes of this stock footage excitement to go. I'm unstoppable and I fully accept these powers. If only those powers included talent. He managed to rope in some other people to be in this film. 
who also have exceedingly high levels of acting ability. I'll see you back at headquarters. Walking like he's trying not to piss himself, he then gets onto his stock footage plane, only to be joined by someone who is actually in the stock footage who doesn't interact with him at all. Poor cow, she doesn't even realise she's in this film. This is the advantage of me being alone. I can't imagine why you're alone. Anyway. I am the weapon. You certainly are a weapon. Everything went well? Everything went well. After all, that's why I'm here. Well, congratulations. Why don't you take off a few days before your next mission? Nah, I don't need that. Oh, that's right, you're special special fucking needs. But then we meet his twin brother, the evil one who went wayward. Well, kind of. Let's meet another group of people whose acting skills escape them. A crisis. Programmable, virtual reality. We have evidence of the largest cyber and terror attacks ever planned. Programmable DNA. This is very serious. Homeland Security is ready. Astounding. Astoundingly shit. Programmable matter. We will all be connected telepathically. Special agencies are prepared. Beyond their wildest expectations. It's almost Shakespearean. Anyway, he goes for a walk and decides to pick up a woman. Check out these techniques. Oh, Jesus, shit! Excuse me, excuse me, I'm so sorry, no, I okay, apologize. Okay, I got it. No, 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 hey, let me get that hey, for you. Hey, shoot! Wait, it's my Johnny. fault, it's no, my no. fault, really. I paper. apologize. Just leave me alone. Let me make leave it up to you. No. I'll take you out to dinner. Leave me alone. I have a boyfriend. Let's have, get a, out of my let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. Leave me alone. Let's have I a drink. Have a I'll meet get you back here face. at 8 o'clock and we'll go out and have a drink. Go. I'll meet you here at 8 o'clock. We'll go out for a drink. I'll make it up to you. Somehow, I don't think she'll be there at 8 o'clock. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I bet she comes back at 8 o'clock. Okay. Ever the optimist. Also, why is this bloke sitting next to some fake rats? Jesus fucking Christ. It's 8 o'clock, she's not here. Oh well, you tried. Because she didn't turn up and sensing that she was just playing hard to get, he just goes round her house. Oh dear, please don't ever do this in real life. I'm going to hurt you now. You're mine now. I'll teach you to ignore me. You were supposed to meet me at 8. Bitch. You can't fight me. Watch out for that feeble and flimsy painting. Get over here. She's already there. And after three minutes of this shit, there's a double shock. Shock one. What's for dinner? Ah, <sighs> your favorite. They're already a couple, and this was all for show. Mom called today. Tell Mom I said hi. <laughs> you got it. Shock two. They share the same mum. Make of that what you will. Let's move on quickly. I think we're about to meet Evil Breen. And we see these three men all chained up in a dark, dingy warehouse. I wonder what they've done wrong. Will we ever find out? Probably not. God. 
Don't kill me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna hold you here for all the crimes that you've committed. The cheating, the lying, the embezzling that you've committed against the public. And all the injustices you've... Injustices? I'm an attorney and I'm gonna see that you are put in jail for the rest of your life. I don't give a shit. This is my form of justice. Oh! Oh! Oh, I knew this was going to come back to bite it. The stolen cars. Millions embezzled from charities. All the politicians we've been paying off. Oh, we've been paying politicians off for years. <laughs> oh, they must be, um, well, you know what. As you were, evil brain. Human trafficking. Oh, the insurance scams we run. Hell, we've even sold military secrets. I'm going to leave you a little reminder. I will be back. Here's a little gift from me to you. Oh! Oh! No. No. Oh! Just hang here and rot, you scum. It's a good job there's all that plastic there to pick up all the um, blood from those gunshots. Anyway. Meanwhile, Evil Breen is outside killing people on some stairs. Realistically. He makes the effort to pick up the evidence of a shooting, even though the police will clearly see that they've been shot, but he forgets his needle. Oh, silly Neil. Evil Neil, that is. A normal Breen, I use that term loosely, is taking his girlfriend's sister out for a lovely meal. I've reserved this entire restaurant just for the two of us. What a lucky, lucky woman. Although what's to stop anyone else from just coming and sitting alongside them because it's outside and there's clearly no restaurant it's just friggin invisible <laughs> <laughs> i bought you a present you did i did a candle thank you so much You're welcome. Eternal and always. You're probably thinking, what a cheap bastard, that's a tiny candle. Well, he has just hired out this whole restaurant for her. It's also the moment we've been waiting for. Neil meets his evil twin brother, Evil Breen. How will we tell them apart? I knew it was you. Kale. Why haven't you contacted me? We're different. No, I'm different. I don't have what you have. But you could have. At one time. But you threw it away. You let it go. Or it was taken from me. It's almost as powerful as when De Niro met Pacino in Heat if one of them was wearing a stupid fucking beard. Astounding. And there's still 56 minutes to go, and no sign of a plot. We then go to Evil Breen's house where we see how he treats his girlfriend compared to how Good Breen treats his uh, girlfriend slash sister. Here's the money I got from the hand. Give me the package. That's oh, our God. damn Get money! Get away from me! Oh. This is for oh both of us! gosh!
take it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh. I don't even want you anymore! All I want is the drugs and the money! Oh my god. You can understand why she only wants drugs and money when she lives with evil brain, but when he slaps her, now and then he forgets to put the sound effect on. I don't want you anymore! After another five minutes of more tedious bullshit, a man who just sits there with some crystals, it's never explained, gets visited by a fairy. Mr. Coos, I assume. Ah, oh, so you come highly recommended. So you're interested in my special art. And investing in my special projects. We'll just brush over the whole fairy thing and why he sounds like that, because it's never explained. Turns out that all it is, is a magic picture frame that he's got off the bloke with the crystals that shows up the occasional picture. How exciting. Also, how incredibly pointless. What are you doing with yourself? What's happening to you? I'm here for you, I'm your brother. I've lost control. Who am I? What am I? What's happened to us? All those questions I asked myself whilst making this video. Ah well, back to horror films next week, thankfully. 13 minutes later or what feels like 13 hours, Breen's broken into a warehouse he's gonna spectacularly blow it up. You know he just made this entire film in his own house, on his own, walking around in front of a green screen with a free subscription to Shutterstock, but I guess the joke's on us because we still watched it. After all that excitement, Breen needs to have a drink with his missus. Ah. This is so nice. I want it to always be like this. I think she's got Stockholm Syndrome. I trust you. Completely. Thank God we don't see them shag. The next day, Breen goes for a walk in the only place he seems to know when he bumps into his twin brother's ex-girlfriend. What the fuck? You shaved! What the fuck is going on here? Damn it. I never had a beard. What? What are you talking I've about? I've never had a beard. Do you know Kale? What? You look just like That's somebody That's my twin I used to brother. Know. What is going on here? That is a very good question, love. Oh no, Breen's girlfriend's gonna see him talking to this other woman and get completely the wrong idea when he tries to give her money even though she didn't ask for it. 
take this money. Here. Find a safe place to live. Thank you. Before he gets home though, he needs to go and blow some more shit up for absolutely no reason at all, or it's never really explained. Justice is served. And goes home to face the music from his sister slash girlfriend, and because she's a woman, of course, she's overreacting. Okay. I knew you wouldn't join us. It was only business. I had to do it. Only business? I'm so sorry. You're breaking my heart. If only they'd just pulled the trigger on us and put us out of our misery from watching this. The film finally fucking ends with Evil Breen walking off into the distance. We live for something bigger than ourselves. I'm here. And it probably ends with normal Breen walking off into his screensaver. Twisted Pear is an absolutely dismal film. There is no plot, and what there is, is very hard to follow because people change, the characters change, they change their faces, but the names stay the same. It's all very confusing, and it's not meant to be something you need to think about too deeply. It's because of incompetence, that's all it is. He makes these films on his own, with his own money, but somehow they gain an audience. It's taken me two years to look at another one of his films. And there is a sequel to this that came out last year, which I'll probably review in about 2026, if something else better doesn't come along. Anyway, I'd highly recommend you don't watch this film. Just look at the, look at the credits. It's a disaster. But if you enjoyed this video slightly more than I enjoyed this atrocity, you can always buy us a cup on Ko-fi. The link's in the description below. And thank you in advance if you do. Stay away from Nilbreen films.